here to show us how to create two beautiful tablescapes this Thanksgiving under $50 is entertaining expert Trevor Frankfurt. Hey, Hi, Trevor. Hey, Mary. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm also so happy to be here. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Well, you, I hear you love to throw a good party both personally and professionally, right? That's exactly why I chose my profession as an event planner. Yeah. But, but I also love to host for my friends mm -hmm. and family game nights, dinner parties, the holidays. Mm -hmm. But I find it really boring when people come over all the time and it's the same tablescape. Mm. So I want to change it up a little bit. I'm going to show you how today to change it up where it doesn't have to break the bank every time there's a holiday, like this weekend, Thanksgiving. I love that. And we're getting into holiday season, so we got a lot of tables coming up. So many. That's amazing. Okay, cool. So your first tablescape is under $25. So tell us what you did here. Yeah, everything that I'm going to show you today is DIY. Mm -hmm. It's using stuff repurposed from around the house, mm -hmm. from the outdoors, from dollar stores, craft stores. And the first one is totally giving off fall vibes. So cozy. With the reds mm -hmm. and the oranges and browns and greens. I love this. The placemat there mm -hmm. is craft paper. Oh, I love that. So easy to use. And all we did was stamp the edge with a little leaf stamp mm -hmm. and some red ink. Mm -hmm. Something you can get your kids to do or your grandkids or your niece and your nephew, whoever. <laughs> get them involved. Mm -hmm. Makes it really fun for the whole family. And we've also scattered some I used fake leaves yes. that I bought at the dollar store, but you can always just go outside, gather some leaves, toss it on the table. Another thing, mm -hmm. if you've got young ones, have some templates printed off and have them cut it out and color them in and use that on the table. That is so cute. So you're getting a chore done. You're raking your leaves and you're doing your table at the same time. And I'm going to go one, I'm going to up you once with that. I love that. We, my husband and I went on a hike and we just collected pine cones. Oh, okay. Brought them home, spray painted a couple of them so they're different colors. Mm -hmm threw them in some vases that we already have, and that's our centerpiece. That's amazing, and I love the placemat thing, because if you slap your gravy over, you can just check it out. <laughs> totally. You don't and have to worry about washing. it with a new one exactly. and get everybody at the table to stamp, stamp it. Stamp it up. <laughs> that's amazing. I love that, and it gives a little bit of height, a little bit of texture. Totally. Amazing. The other thing that I want to show you today is I love decorating a napkin. Okay. So do you want to decorate a napkin with me? Thought you'd never ask. Oh, thank amazing. You. Let's do this. So, <laughs> we've got all of our materials here. First off, um, we want to always take a piece of ribbon. I'm using burlap today. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that it's the right circumference for the way we're going to fold the napkin. OK. So, so today, let's just take the napkin. Mm -hmm. Let's open it up, take it from the middle, okay. and just kind of make it a little messy, but cute, pretty at the same time. Messy and pretty. Messy and pretty. That's a good, that's a good thing. Like mornings yeah. at my house. <laughs> and we take our ribbon mm -hmm. or our burlap, pre-cut, put a little bit of glue. Okay. Get your handy glue gun. I'm going to grab my handy glue gun. Just a little dab on the edge. Fold it over to close it up. Amazing. Don't get it all over your face. I know, I was gonna say, I was like, glue guns. <laughs> this, was my, this is my childhood. I love a glue gun. <laughs> then you wanna take a little bit more and just dab it on the top. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're gonna put our fake flowers. So these are flowers are from the dollar store. Oh, amazing. So easy, so pretty. Mm -hmm. And just attach it there. Let's slide that onto our napkin. Perfect. And then I... Oh my gosh, I, this looks so cute. Pretty, it's like a little right? boutonniere for your napkin. Well, that's yeah. a really good way to put it. Thank you. I yeah. love it. <laughs> napkin boutonniere. Yeah. <laughs> and then I love to tell people where they're sitting. I, I don't know why. I just really like to tell people. You, you seem like me also type A, so yeah. I also get it. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> so take our Sharpie here. Write your name. Perfect. And then you're going to take the little piece of rope that we have, slide it on through. Mm -hmm. And then just tie it to our little napkin boutonniere. Boutonniere, very fancy. Oh and my gosh. You, you can tie it in a knot, in a bow, however you want. Mm -hmm. And it just looks really pretty That's on your table. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this. Very beautiful. And then we also have, if, you, if, you, if you're not as crafty, mm -hmm. you can always just take a pine cone. Mm -hmm. Put your name on it and literally just look at that. Oh, I look love that. that. That's so good. That's, That's so good, Trevor. Amazing. Now, your next tablescape is for under $50, right? And that's that this next right. tier up. Absolutely. Tell us about it. Next tier up. So this is also very fall-like mm -hmm. because it has pumpkins. I love a pumpkin. But you'll notice the pumpkins are white mm -hmm. because I spray painted them all. It's that easy. Whatever color you want to use, mm -hmm. use spray paint, make them look pretty. But I have some tips for you about spray painting. What's the tip? Let me tell you. Make sure that when you're spray painting, you cover the surface of where you're painting. <laughs> 
<laughs> because, true story, your partner will get very upset with you <laughs> when the uh, outdoor coffee table now has white paint all over it. And like with missing pumpkin marks. <laughs> yes. Pumpkin holes. Amazing. But then the other thing that you want to do is always spray paint from above. Mm -hmm. So spray painting from above and going down so you avoid the bleed lines uh -huh. and the clumps. You don't want your pumpkins to look clumpy. I mean, I do like a warty pumpkin, but I, I appreciate that, yeah? Warty pumpkin. And then our centerpiece here is, uh, again, a painted pumpkin mm -hmm. with some nice dry flowers, using some candles that are already on our dining room table mm -hmm. to just zhuzh it up a little bit. Amazing. But look at these placemats. So these placemats that I'm using today, they're actually wrapping paper. Oh, great. I know. Yeah. So you just unroll the wrapping paper, cut it into placemat size, and you can reuse it. You can wrap presents with it after. Mm -hmm. You've got another roll in the, in the closet that you you can use all year round. Mm -hmm. So reusing is, is something that is so important when you're crafting and DIY. 100%. I also use alphabet uh, stickers to put our names on it because again, I like to tell our guests where they're seated. That's classic Trevor. I love that. And yeah. You, that, that's right. And then look at these napkins, mm -hmm. the way that I have uh, presented them here. Aren't they gorgeous? They're so pretty. So pretty. And you know what they're made of? What? I'm going to tell you, right in front of you. A toilet paper roll. TP rolls. Using a toilet yeah. paper roll to make something so elegant. Mm. Do, do you want to make it with me? Let's do a real quick okay, one. Let's yeah, let's get it. Got. So all, you have to cut the, the paper, sorry, the toilet paper roll or the paper towel mm -hmm. roll to the size of the ribbon. Mm -hmm. Glue it on exactly. You're doing it Pop right. Her on. Put another little dab of glue there so it stays together. Nice. And then I've already pre-cut a little piece of dry flour. Oh, beautiful. So let's glue that on there We can there glue too. her on? I'll, I'll roll this up for you. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna do that at the back now. I love there that. There you go, just stick, stick that, that on, on, put it through the napkin, and, and you've got yourself a beautiful, another napkin boutonniere. Another napkin boutonniere. Oh my gosh, oh, that actually worked really well. I was worried about that one. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Now real quickly, what do we got over here? So this is how to make the uh, beautiful centerpiece. Yeah. So again, spray paint your pumpkin, mm -hmm. hollow it out, mm -hmm dig out all the guts. And because the hole is so large now, we want to kind of frame it so that you can fit a smaller arrangement in and it's not just like drooping off to the side. Totally. So I like to call it a hashtag. Okay. So you're going to do one line this way, one line that way, and then two lines across. Okay, so you're kind of making like a smaller little target. That's exactly it. Because otherwise they literally just fall out. And, and when you're using a small arrangement, you want to have the hole as tight as possible because I mean, look how pretty it looks when it's when it's all said and done. You know what, Mary, Okay, sorry. We've got, one, we've, got, we've got one already done here. So oh. all you do is pop that arrangement in. Oh my gosh, that is so like, cute. Again, easy, pretty, and functional. Trevor, I got so much inspiration for my Thanksgiving yes. table. Thank you so, so Thank much. You. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm just so thankful to be here. Oh Thank my gosh, Mary. that was amazing. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.